Hey, so I decided to take today off uh, from working at the farm. Today is the 3rd, July 3rd. So uh, I worked on pressure washing the house and I'm gonna start a fence project here. So this fence I put up, I don't know, many years ago, six, seven years ago, something like that. Um, and it needs some serious help, but we're not ready to like redo the fence yet. So I'm just gonna do some paint or stain on it. So I pressure wash this and I pressure wash this part of the house and the papers and the front of the house. So that really needed to get done. So that was one of the projects I worked on today. I did get a little sunburnt today. This is out a little bit longer than I thought. But so we're going to go down to the 100 acre field. And it's been, I don't know, I want to say it's been about a week since I've been there. And I think the whole field or most of the field should be in blossom, which will be beautiful. So I want to see that. And um, I think tomorrow I'm going to work on that fence, but tomorrow's the 4th of July. Um, I'm not sure what we're doing. Farm is technically closed these two days, but we usually are always working, whether it's at home or on the farm. But I'm going to head down and pick up Shane. He is working on the big jack. So, so Shane's got the big jack out. He's got a lot of stuff he's got to do to that to get it ready for picking corn. And we cannot afford to have a single day where we're not picking. Every single day we need to pick corn. So he goes through that thing with a fine tooth comb reseals the motors, stripper motors for the puller heads. Um, he just does a ton of stuff to that because we really can't afford to have a breakdown. Even a couple hours is a huge deal. All right, getting to the corn shed. Let's see what Shane's been up to today. I hear you. Hello. What's going on? What you doing? Fucking things up. Yeah. See the inside of the hopper looks really nice. Yeah. 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 Fresh coat of paint there. Yeah. Yeah. No, still plugging everything in so I can give us the test run and see if everything works, which would be nice. Okay.
<laughs> so technically, we surpassed the knee high by the 4th of July. This is grain corn. This is where we showed you guys the seed. Okay. Uh, we'll head back to Lewiston and we'll give you the update there. <laughs> so what are you we, doing there, Molly? Oh, uh, I got a duck. So we had to go uh, rescue a duck from a friend who had some of their ducks attacked by a fox and she was the last one left. So I'm going to bring her home. And she originally came from our flock, so hopefully she'll remember her friends and be okay. But she's doing pretty good. She was a little, uh, she was, oh, 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 I spoke too soon. No, no, no. She was a little bit uh, freaking out before, and now we're doing much better. Yes, we're doing okay, huh, Duck? <laughs> All right, so uh, back to Lewiston. Bring the duck. <laughs> duck to the pond, and then we're going to go check out the fields. Hold on, it's okay. It's okay. Check out the fields. <laughs> ready to go. <laughs> she knows them. They know her. Scratched up from the duck. All right, heading down to the corn, the sweet corn fields. She's drinking and eating, so let's get started. All right guys, so this was the first planting of sweet corn here. And things are starting to tassel now. 
Oh, look at that. So, corn silking. Each one of these little pieces of silk is connected connected to a kernel. So that's how the ear forms is the pollen comes from a tassel. And as long as each one of these pieces of silk gets pollinated, it will create a kernel of corn. Mm. See that? Yep. How the silk grows. It's attached to the actual kernel. It is baby corn. Oh, this is where the corn's at, Fourth of July. So yeah, Fourth of July corn. <laughs> oh. This might look like something you put in your stir fry. Um I don't know if this is actually sweet corn that goes in a stir fry. I just said that. <laughs> but uh, how long do we think? What's the what's the thoughts? Three weeks. About three weeks. July twenty-six. Yeah. So in three weeks, this corn will go from these little guys to harvestable sweet corn. At least that's the plan. So we were out here last night and uh, this was not happening. There was some tasseling starting, but it was all the way like down in covered up with the leaves. So all of this popped out today in this nice weather. Yeah, grew. today was a very, Today was a very good growing day. So we still have been lucky. We still have not had to do irrigation. So far, it's been a good growing season. So we've got about three weeks or so before this will start to get harvested. So what that means. You can see that windstorm from Sunday. Some of this corn got gooseneck. Oh, okay. Which that does not help picking. But hopefully not much of it. So the picker likes it when it's standing. The the picker likes yeah. corn standing up nice and straight. So you have three weeks to make sure the picker's ready. And we have three weeks to get the building ready. And we have three weeks until our inspection. And we have <laughs> and we still need to start harvesting beans and finish potatoes. All right, I'm gonna walk over to the beans and see how they're doing. I know you guys haven't really seen us doing much the last few weeks, but that's because we're in the growing phase of things. Uh, Raymond is gonna be cultivating corn later this week. So I am gonna hop in with him and spend a day and I'll show you guys what cultivating corn is like. So beans have some blossoms on them now. We have a random corn growing here. And this is the start of the CMP. Yeah, I've got to give you guys an update video on uh, the CMP project here. So they have made their way across the road and they're going to be starting here. This uh, little bit of corn that is knocked down is from them coming through, marking, yeah. marking where their road is going to be. So we expect to lose around two acres of sweet corn to the, the construction, but we'll see what it ends up being when they're all said and done. Hard to see, but back there, they have their road that they're building. I'm going to show you guys all that in another video, but we got some, some deer tracks here. And uh, Shane has been out scouting 
the last few nights and mornings and we haven't had any active deer in the field that he has seen. So that is good. So hopefully um, that's about it with uh, the deer eating corn. But we'll keep watching. Uh, this is taller now. So they're going to move to a field that's shorter. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That, that's what it seems like they've been doing. That makes sense. All right, guys. So I'm going to wrap this up here. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was kind of a mix of everything, but uh, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.